in Studio B making his debut. Welcome to the show, Lee. What's up, Lee? Thanks for having me, guys. It's good to be here. How often did you get out on the floor and uh, let your 53% field goal shooting do the talking <laughs> as coaching against these players? <laughs> you know, sometimes we have a little shooting contest to see. We can't shoot for money because it's against the rules, but sometimes we shoot for push-ups. And uh, mm. I let I let my uh, shooting ability talk that way. <laughs> do you win most of those? Uh, right now, I got a few guys on the team that owe me a few push-ups. So. Who, who are those? TJ owes me two. <laughs> Kobe Leeson owes me two. Or Leeson, sorry. Owes me two, and I owe Bayo one. One at, like, set? So, no, here's one a One push-up? No, here's the thing. It's a push-up that you can call for at any time. Ah. Oh, okay. Aside from in the huddle, coach is talking, or it's a pretty serious thing. Anything else, anything goes. So if <laughs> if TJ was here right now, I would say, hey, TJ, give me a push-up, and he would have to give me a push-up. That's funny. That's funny. So. I like that a lot. Um, do you weigh more or less now than when you played? <laughs> it depends. Probably less than at the beginning of the season, but more than what I usually finished up at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> when did coming back to BYU as a graduate assistant become – a legitimate reality for you? Well, I've, I've, I've thought about coaching a lot, and I've been talking with Coach Rose, you know, the last few years as I've been playing over there. And I, we, we always knew that the GA or being a grad assistant could be an option. And so I try to get involved every spring the last couple of years with places, and it's just hard. It's hard to get into the business. And uh, when that happened this year and, and nothing came my way, then we, we uh, kind of pushed forward with it and went through the whole application process of graduate school and did all that, and now I'm a student again. Now, that's nice, but what I really <laughs> think happened is you saw the Marriott Center Annex, a.k.a. the YMCA, and you're like, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> it's time, right? <laughs> that is an unbelievable building, and the program is is pretty, pretty legit right now. I mean, the, the, these guys – have everything that they need to improve their game and to win championships. So it's a good time to be around. Where were you immediately before you decided to come to BYU? What was happening in your life, and what was that transition like? I was actually in Belgium playing my seventh season as a pro and uh, just going through the rigors of a season. You know, we actually finished. Uh, we lost in the finals this year, and then I had already kind of applied and was accepted. And then right when I was finished, flew back, spent a few days in Arizona with family, and then came up here and was with, with the guys all summer. Are you retired then as a pro basketball player? I, I am done. I play Tuesdays and Thursday mornings now with a couple of older gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's a good time. <laughs> if we play in a rec league team, we're going we're gonna to give you a call, man, or an intramural team. Um, what's, what's it been like to be back at BYU and on the court in a different role? You know, it's great. Um, I didn't really know a lot of these guys, so I spent most of the summer just with the guys, getting to know them and, you know, being around them and adding value any way I could. And then since the school year started, just being around the coaches as well as the players as much as I can, you have a lot of interesting personalities, but I can learn a lot from a lot from the coaches and then trying to add value any way I can to these guys going through something I went through quite a while ago. Do you coach like you wanted to be coached or do you coach uh, <laughs> like a different way? Because when you're the student, you're like, man, if I was a teacher, I would do it this way. And then when you are the teacher, it's kind of different. Yeah, I, I, I kind of coach the same way I kind of coach as a, a player or a team teammate, you know, same, same approach. And when guys need to be, you know, had a talking to, then I, I, I give that to them. And, you know, if they need to be congratulated or, hey, that was a good job, then that's how that's that's my approach. You got the nickname D Salty for <laughs> a reason, right? <laughs> That 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 nickname goes way back, and uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure these guys remember that. So let's just keep that. They, under they don't know. That's we're we're like the '06. <laughs> when you, you were here, we were students there too. So yeah. What's what's your biggest concern um, going into the season as you look at this really talented team? I know I know Dave Rose talked about. Hey, we have a real investment in defense. Is is that one of the things? No question, none of these guys were recruited as defensive players. Um, it's something <laughs> It's something that they're going to have to really focus on. Um, Talent-wise, it's probably as talented a college team as I've seen. You know, they're really talented, and offense is going to come natural to these guys. Um, but honestly, 
we have a game tonight, but after that, I've been watching a lot of film on Princeton, and they're going to be tough. It's going to be – that's my biggest concern right now is that first game. <laughs> it's Princeton. There you go. Yeah. They'll present a huge challenge. And, and they're we're better hearing, than people think. Yeah, we're hearing from a lot of analysts, including Ken Pomeroy, that, that that might be BYU's toughest and most valuable non-conference game all year. You open up with that. Yeah, we, we are young, and they are experienced. They went to Italy and got that experience prior to this season, so they have that going for them. And they're picked to win the Ivy League, and they, they are good. They run good stuff, and it's unique stuff. The Princeton offense is unique, and we're young, so it's, it's a little scary. What um, do you see in practice that makes you excited about this season? Uh, just kind of how the guys – fit together they like being around each other the other thing too is they they are coachable they want to be coached they want to know how they can get better I know countless times TJ comes over there in practice and asks me hey what are you seeing what are you seeing and you're like give me a (laughs) push-up I could if I wanted to (laughs) that's fair game but no they they just want to get better you know so it's it's a it's good how many games do you give this BYU team to gel I know that's you can throw that verb around how you want it but how many games will it take do you do you think before this team is like okay they're they're doing what I expect them to do yeah that's that's an interesting question the uh I think in the preseason in our practices it's taken a few weeks to gel and I think right now they're they're playing really well offensively and defensively they have bought in defensively to coach Lewis's stuff and so I would a few I, I would think a few few games, but these guys want to be good. You know, they they don't they don't want to make excuses and say, hey, we're young, and you know, give us that game for because we're young. They they want to win and win now. Lee, what uh, what does the team want to see tonight in the final tune-up before the regular season? Uh, I think the coaches are just looking for can they execute kind of the stuff that we've put in. You know, we we've gone over some of BYU Hawaii sets, and. Um, they run a few unique sets and, and how we guard that. And then just our focus offensively. Um, we haven't put in too many sets offensively. And Nor do you want to reveal that this game. No, right? no, no. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we probably won't run too much stuff, uh, too many sets, but just how focused they are and how they execute those sets. We're excited to have your autograph on our Stretch <laughs> Wife Live. We've been waiting a long time for this, Lee. Yeah, it's November. You've been here a few months. Our bad. <laughs> it's been few, we should have had you in earlier. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind giving us uh, your autograph, and uh, good luck tonight. It's great to have you back, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I just want to say, Tavanari can't shoot with me. <laughs> I know he'll be listening. I know he'll be listening. <laughs> oh, we'll tag him. We okay, will clip good. this off, tag good. him, Lee, and Lee, send I it out. I can shoot with you. Yeah. I can shoot with there you. There you go. <laughs>